Hey, good afternoon, JCPS. Happy Friday, and welcome to the last weekly wrap-up of the year. Um, and it's always exciting on that last week of the year. And the last day of school was on Wednesday. I know it wasn't that traditional last day of school that I love so much, visiting schools, thanking teachers, saying goodbye to students, all the celebrations that go with the end of school year, the promotion ceremonies, the graduation ceremonies that unfortunately we had to miss this year. Um, but still, uh, it's a great time to celebrate the end of the school year and specifically to celebrate the JCPS family. Um, all the stakeholders in JCPS, especially the, the entire year, 1920, but especially during this NTI period. The last couple months we know have been such a major challenge, but the JCPS community stepped up and really showed what great people we have in this organization that specifically care for kids. So thank you to our teachers, uh, to our students, to our administrators, and to um, our, our parents and families, students. Everybody really came together during this time. Um, and really stepped up so that we could meet the needs of our kids. So I appreciate everybody as we finish out uh, this 2019-2020 school year. Thanks for all your hard work. Uh, I want to take this time to really thank our teachers and educators, all of our employees throughout this school year as we wrap up um, for, for your work, your dedication, commitment, and professionalism throughout the entire school year, but especially during these last couple months as we finish out the school year. Everybody now uh, gets a well-deserved break and rest um, and to get away before we come back next year. So I hope you enjoy that time. A couple other reminders. We had some great graduate, virtual graduation ceremonies going on. Check them out um, on our YouTube page. Um, congratulations once again to the class of 2020. We're so proud of you. We're going to have those real commencement ceremonies as soon as we can possibly have them. Uh, but I've been inspired watching these virtual graduation ceremonies, especially the speeches of our students and our seniors graduating. So congratulations once again to the class of 2020. A couple other reminders, we got summer learning programs going on. Go to our webpage, sign up for our summer learning opportunities. Those virtual opportunities to continue the learning throughout the summer, we're really focusing on engaging our students, having fun, non-NTI-like uh, activities that students can be involved in, but also supporting your learning specifically in reading and math. So parents, check out those opportunities on our website and um, we'll be releasing more information about great opportunities virtually that students can do throughout the summer for learning. Uh, finally, we continue to monitor the situation for the fall. We've developed a task force called the Pan Pandemic Response Team, uh, internal stakeholders that are working hard to plan on all scenarios uh, for what the 2020-2021 school year will look like. And so we know there's going to be a, a lot of change in that, and we're going to have to be very flexible. But we are working through all of these plans to see um, how we can maximize face-to-face -face student instruction because we want that. We want to get, get our kids back in school. But we also know safe, uh, having our kids being safe and healthy and our employees their safety and healthy is, is our number one concern, so we're monitoring that. Um, we will have more information throughout the summer. Um, our goal is to start on time. We would love to start on time, August 12th, have all our, our kids back in the building implementing those safety protocols um, that the CDC uh, recommends. Uh, but we're going to have to monitor the situation and take guidance, obviously, from the governor and health department as we move forward. Um, so stay tuned. We'll be providing a lot of information over the next couple of months about um, what's going to happen in the fall. But just know we are working hard to plan and also possibly preparing for NTI in the fall. If we have to go back to that, uh, we want to be better than we've ever been. So more kids with Chromebooks, uh, more classes actually taking place online and supporting the learning of our students um, and our staff. So once again, JCPS, thanks for a great school year. Thanks for all you've done, especially in the last couple months. Can't wait to get everybody back in school so uh, we can see everybody face to face. Take some time away and have a great summer. Look forward to seeing you back in the fall. Thanks. Mm -hmm.